Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. Uh, delighted to be joined by Izzy Asif. Uh, Izzy, a momentous occasion for yourself, but you've had some serious challenges. Uh, just tell us, because news broke this morning, uh, your main event got called off, so just explain what happened with the fans, and we're going to talk about this venue in a moment. Yeah, uh, we had a medical inqui uh, inquiry on uh, Martin McDonough's side. We thought we got it over the line about a week ago. Last minute, last kind of ditch, last minute, we got another inquiry to say there were further tests and further reports. We tried everything. You know, we got members of our team to get to take him to Nottingham to do more tests and tests and tests. It just didn't happen. Martin McDonough absolutely tried his best. You know, I'm absolutely gutted for the lad, but listen. His, his well-being, his health is a, is a paramount for us. And yeah, I've lost out. And as a promoter, we lost a fantastic fight at top of the bill, but his health come first. And yeah, I feel sorry for Reese and Martin, but hopefully he gets it over the line, whatever's required, and he can come back again. Uh, were you at any point close to pulling the show? Because I know that was, it sold a lot of tickets, that main event. No way. I started off with four, 13, 14 fights. Listen, you're only legally meant to have 12 fights, but I always know with this boxing level of boxing where fight, fighters pull out, things happen, injuries happen, medical inquiries, inquiries. So I felt like I started a bit higher, lost five fights in total, but we still done nearly 2,000 tickets to this venue. And, you know, it's going to be a momentum nice, memorable, memorable night for me personally as a promoter, but everybody here, I think it's going to be a night that people say GBM Sports the first ever event at this park arena. And the new main event, you've got Emma Dolan, uh, Nicola Hopewell, a uh, 5-0 and versus 3-0. You know. I bet you're glad that's still going. Listen, I'm so glad we have two titles on. But, you know, just even while Reese and, uh, Reese and Martin were still on, people still talking about this fight. They said this could steal the show. So it, it, it warrants the top of the bill. And I said this in many interviews, this could have easily topped a card. And, it, and it's by coincidence, it is topping the card. But it's a, listen, it's a great title. It's a great fight. It's really equally poised. And I think it's going to be a cracking fight and it's going to be anybody's to take. So yeah, still excited. Got a fantastic card, packed out on the card. You know, but I'm buzzing for it. And less quick word about this venue. I'm just going to pan my camera around so I don't, I don't think the fans can fully appreciate what, what's in front of us, but absolutely incredible. And I've seen your journey from the start. You know, you started at Magna, you know, and this is incredible. This, you know, how excited are you that you're putting this event on in this arena? It literally looks like you could be in the Motorport Arena, but just a yeah. smaller crowd. Yeah, just goosebumps, goosebumps, and goosebumps. You know, I walked in here and I just started, just like almost emotional about it because we know where we started. We know how tough the journey's been. We know the obstacles we've had this week's been absolutely horrendous. But you know, did I ever give up or did I ever think I always knew it happened? I've got a strong team around me. I've got a strong faith in my team around me. And I knew we'd get over the line, but this this is unbelievable. This is going to be a, a, a used arena for all the promoters, I reckon. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Sheffield needed it. The South Yorkshire needs a venue like this. And, yeah, it's, it's something special. I'm just fortunate that we've been lucky enough to be the first sporting event. You know, they only did an opening last night, so they only opened the arena. There's so much that could have gone wrong, so much risk elements involved. Uh, but, yeah, we're here. We're, you know, we're a couple of hours away. And for, for when the first bell goes, it'll be a relief. I can't wait for an exciting night of boxing. They actually installed the internet literally a couple of hours ago, which is crazy. And talking of that, the show's going to be live streamed on TalkSport, which is pretty big. You know, TalkSport are big players in sports media and any kind of, you know, football, boxing, etc. So how much of a big move is that for you? Oh, it's a massive boost for our team, for everybody involved, because they've not just put us on the stream, they've really pushed us out there. Somebody phoned me up today saying, oh, we've seen it, heard you on TalkSport. Like a couple of days ago, they kept constantly pushing us. So it's not a matter of just, yeah, we're going to stream your show. I think they want to, they could potentially be a collaboration work in the future work together and this is just a one-off see how things lie but you know uh, what a platform one of the biggest sporting platforms in the world probably the biggest sporting platform in this country uh to have them on board and really pushing us and believing in us as well so i'm quite uh it's appreciative of how they backed us and supported us and and they want to see us do well and listen it's a great platform and we're buzzing to have them on I'm generally looking forward to the production. If I just look here to, to the right here, you know, this is where the fighters are going to be making their ring walks from. It's going to be pretty incredible, and I think the fans who are here tonight have got a ticket. That they're in for a treat. Uh, any final message to the fans and the fighters that are taking part? I think you've got Billy Joe Saunders coming, Kel Brook. Um, did you drop any more names? Sonny Edwards, Billy Joe Saunders, David Amante, Kel Brook. You know, the list goes on and on. Look, guys from Matchroom, guys from Boxer. There's, there's fighters, Dalton Smith. You know, it just goes on and on and on. You know, it's where do I put them now? And, 
it's great to have them, great that they're supporting me. You've got Sam Jones, Lee, and all the managers. It's great they're all coming together and they're supporting me. And, and to be honest with you, the boxing world's been great with me. Uh, generally, I have a lot of support, people pushing me. In. And I think they know that I'm trying my heart out. I'm trying my best to get push this game on. And, and they see that, and that's why they're here to support. And it's going to be a memorable night for everybody here, uh, and especially GBM Sports, to be hosting an event of such kind of magnitude and uh, historic kind of value it's going to have. I sense you're getting a bit emotional there, Izzy, because, uh, like I said, you've, you've dealt with all the, the issues in the last 24 hours, and I know there's been other issues as well, venue issues, etc., but you pulled it off again. If I tell you something, you won't believe the issues we've had. You know, you would not believe the issues we've had at this venue, and including, like, legalities where the show was almost pulled beyond our controls. And, you know, the financial input we've had on this show is more than any other show we've ever done. We've been all over the country doing our media outlets, been pushing it. And, and, and for that to like not even have an event here would, would have really hurt, but we're over the line, we're here, we've got nine fights on, we've got a title fight on, we've got a kid making his debut, Naptali, we've got a packed out on the card of 50-50 fights, it's going to be one special night. Tune in to uh, talk, ra uh, talk Sport Radio, YouTube channels, Boxing King Media, they're showing it. If you haven't got a ticket, unfortunately, unfortunately not to have a ticket, tune in because it's been a memorable night and some cracking fights on as well. Is Yassif, thank you and good luck.